Alrighty, let's check this out. Boom. And you actually have another version that is spined out. I'm actually going to take a look at that one instead. It's always a bit easier to check spacing and everything. So uh, looking at this and also looking at your question, you had an issue with pose 26 and then the in-betweens and then the settle. So the thing about a jump, what you're doing right is that you want a full extension. Sometimes people have jumps where they jump off like that or even they land with legs like that. It's a bit tricky. You have extensions, which is great. What I would look out for is that when you're doing this, there are a couple of things. A, your, your legs, like with that type of line of action for this, you're almost expecting with that arc that your character is going to whoo, whoo, jump like this. Maybe a bit forward, do something like that. I mean, you know, if you go up like that, it's going to drop like this. But just cartoony wise, you might have a little bit of something like that in there. Just because you look at that and that path. So the weirdness, if I draw it like that, you have this is your path or the implied path that I'm that I would like to see but then what's happening is that you're actually going this way and then the problem with that is that a this it's not what you would expect given the energy and path but also the problem is that when you have a jump forward like this is that the body keeps being straight like this now you might argue well if someone's running then you can totally have a body like this that's totally fine and I agree but the thing is, this is a jump where you, if you want to jump from here to here, right, then your body is going to be something where you're like this. And then you're really oh, jumping like that. And then at the end, you might have legs here and arms up. And that's a weird drawing there. <laughs> like many drawings that I have, but that would be the idea. So if you do this, you have to look at where is this pointing? Where is the path going with this? So it feels like, okay, well, that's going to be a jump this way. So that's generally the path that's on. So you want to make sure that it's not this, but if you're going all the way over there, that it's going to be that and that your character doesn't have to be in terms of like a flying path where it has to, you know, be like, oh, I'm flying and be on that path. But you still want an idea of the lean forward, lean forward, and then it can go back and end up being down here. But I think uh, I just know my file attached to it. So it would be actually easier if you can send me that and then I can help you out with that. The other thing is the spacing. So you look at the amount of spacing you have. It's all fairly small. That's fine. Even though towards the end, it would accelerate. It's not small, 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 and then suddenly jump here. And that's the other issue that I have there. I'm going to switch to minus well this color. So if you track the root, I'm going to this sloppily here, right above there. Anyway, it's a bit sloppy, but you can see, especially here, I really start to go straight up. And then it's suddenly here here and then it suddenly slows down again and then you have slow 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 and then it suddenly accelerates really fast okay that dot was a cheat oh where's the undo button undo button undo is it undoing the wrong thing there you go strange and down into those smaller bits here so if you look at this and let me be fancy again you can see there's a section where you have something happening here. That's all fairly small. And then papa, two huge spacing moments. And then suddenly small again through here all the way through there. So that section here, small. And then suddenly big again. So on a jump like that, you want to make sure that it's it might, you know, might start somewhere crouch for anticipation and then might be you know rounded out here and then it will bah, and then it will shoot and have a little bit of hang time which you're alluding to which is great and then you will gradually accelerate again and so you have you know, the jump the jump jolt with a little bit of hang time slowing it down 
and then as you did correctly it starts to accelerate because of of the gravity but the spacing is just a bit too harsh that for sure that's a massive linear key right there and this could be smoothed out a bit this doesn't feel quite like a land because a the path doesn't feel like it's like this it feels more like you're doing this and then that section a because it's so straight and doesn't have an arc and it suddenly accelerates it feels more like someone's pulling the character so jump and then suddenly gets pulled through there and then if you jump like you know if you do shoot your own reference or you find something it's also a bit odd in terms of the upper body to be in that hunched over position till the end like it just it just feels very stiff and it feels like if you're already down like that and you have that whole forward momentum with it the landing wouldn't be this you're asking about the settle to me the landing would be well now you're going to lean forward and take another step to stop because the body's leaning forward and at one point the hands will be somewhere and then you might take another step and then straighten up for that so i would have again this, this is a whole connection of you got to lean forward that's your path you might be like this in the middle but then when you're landing your body's going to be back out again and you're going to try to land again arms up whatever it's going to be so you have a bit of a of a change let's go crazy again where it's like this and that and that instead of staying straight and then actually hunching over so again this would be back here into the land because if you're back like that with your body then you can compress or even then the compression will probably with the body a bit further back and then as it goes up that's when it will catch up and be maybe here and then at the very end it might still have some forward momentum and then you might have to take one more step forward but that's what i would do in terms of the settle because it is quite a distance you also have to look at realistically that is a ginormous distance to cover for a jump so you would really have to have a massive lean forward arms up and then those arms are going to really swing forward in order to get there. So you also potentially have to consider maybe character lands only here. And that's that's your path. But it really has to be a push off, a massive push off here with the legs and a big swing with arms to get that extra swing momentum going forward into that land. I hope that makes sense. Again, I feel like with the Maya scene, that might be a bit easier to show in terms of the path. But let me know if that makes sense or not. Uh, and that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.